broken ankle, uh, destroyed ACL, destroyed meniscuses, dislocated shoulder. It didn't really dislocate, but almost like it was like really somebody pulled too hard on it. Many bruises, cuts, broken hand, sprain, quadriceps, broken wrist, wrist, three herniated discs, broken ribs, broken nose five times, two concussions, major. My name is Jen Goulet. I work as Lefisto. I'm a pro wrestler. I've been wrestling for 13 years already. <laughs> Wrestling is not only a sport, it's a lifestyle. The best way to describe wrestling when I teach a, a new girl is be ready to learn how to live with pain, because that's what it is. People think it's fake, people think we don't get hurt, but we do. But we get so used to it by, you know, we fall on our backs so many times, we get punched so many times, that it's, it's part of our lifestyle. You must go to the gym, there's the diet. There's um, being ready to wrestle on the weekends and then you have to wake up at, uh, at 6 in the morning and go to work even if you're hurt. It's really a different kind of life from I would say normal people have and you have to be ready to make a lot of sacrifices. My character is a Japanese anime. Uh, I was inspired when I was in um, training in Japan in 2003. You never know what to expect from an anime. They come out, they're all cute, they're all funny, they're all smiling, and then when the fight starts, they're all violent and kicking each other in the face and screaming and those big expressions in their faces. My character also has a sidekick. Her name is Peekaboo. She's, um, she's a little doll, and the thing is she tells me what to do in the ring. I'm one of the only females who uh, was really into the hardcore wrestling style with the chairs, the tables, barbed wires. And in Mexico back then, there weren't too many women involved. So they brought me in to teach the women uh, how to do hardcore. I have a lot of stamina and I'm really um, good dealing with pain. Like I recover really quickly. So I guess I just used it to my advantage and I wanted to, when I started doing hardcore, again it was to push my limits and show that the girls could do it too and bring something new to the sport. Tonight I'm fighting Ayako Amada, she's, uh, she's one of my uh, inspiration and uh, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I rarely face somebody who has more experience than I do, but tonight is, uh, that's what's going on. When you come to wrestling, you let go of all the frustration you had during the week. Boss, there, there was something wrong with your car, uh, you got to fight with your wife, whatever the reason is, you come to wrestling and you let go. Wrestling is one of the only sports where you're actually involved in the show, because if you give me something uh, I can react to, I will give you something back. And it's really a back and forth thing with the crowd. And it's, it's such a good feeling to go out there and s know that you can be angry and say bad things. And then you come out and say, I had fun. And then you go to bed and you're all tired. But you, you, all the frustrations are gone. So I, I just think it's a good feeling to go to the wrestling show.